Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you're having a great trading day. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm gonna to go over my Robinhood portfolio and the overall market. Tomorrow is Friday and I'll be following three earnings reports. The three companies are in the financial sector, specifically banks. First is uh, JP Morgan, ticker symbol JPM. Second is Wells Fargo, ticker symbol WFC. And third is Citigroup, ticker symbol C. All their P ratios are around 15 and their forward P ratios are around 10. So we'll see how they do tomorrow. In terms of sectors, today all of them were, most of them were in the green. Uh, the leading sectors were uh, te technology, healthcare, telecom, industrials, and consumer discretionary. Only one that's down today was consumer staples. Consumer staples are usually, usually uh, less volatile, um, but it pays really good dividends versus Information technology, it's more growth, so it's less dividends, but overall technology sector has been doing really well. In terms of tomorrow's performance, futures say it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. So Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's up 0.36%, S&P 500 up 0.28%, NASDAQ, 100 up 0.38 percent tomorrow 0.37 Russell 2000 which is small cap companies will be up 0.27 percent Nikkei 225 which are primarily uh, Japanese companies trade on the Tokyo Stock Exchange up 1.34 percent Euro stocks 50 up 0.73 percent volatility is it didn't really go up that much. Um, so yeah, overall, tomorrow will be a great training day, hopefully. All right, going back to my portfolio. That's weird. All right. So my Robinhood portfolio today was up around 1%. I don't know why, but the 24 hours is a bit inaccurate on my Android device, um, but it was up today. Uh, past week, up 3.21%. One month, up 0.29%. Three months, up 6.91%. And one year, up 18.71%. Currently, I'm at my all-time highs. My last all-time high was 143,606. Today is uh, 143.622, so all time highs today. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be even higher. Going down. As many of you know, I still have my Ethereum and more Ethereum in my GDAX account. This one is still a long-term play for me. I'm just gonna continue holding. Um, Ethereum or cryptocurrency in general it hasn't really been doing too well. Um, as you see, one week down 6.6%, 17.91% past month, that was down. Three months down 11.61%. One year's up, but overall you can see the trending downward. Same with Bitcoin, three months down 21%. One year you can see it's trending down as well. I'm not gonna purchase any more, it's more of a hold hold for now. Going down to my stocks, S&P 500, VOO, Vanguard, ETF up 0.81%. This is my largest holding. Vanguard Information Technology, this is up 1.7% today. Uh, this is my second largest holding. Schwab, large cap ETF, up 0.89%. Uh, 
Spider S&P 500 up 0.95%. Next couple ones are stock, uh, tech, technology stocks. So um, they're all up. Apple up 1.71%. Amazon up 2.54%. Visa up 1.34%. Actually going back to Apple, I plan to add more Apple shares just because I think it's a solid long-term play. Uh, good dividend play as well as a good growth stock. I feel like Apple is has become a commodity, even though um, majority of their so majority of their revenue is iPhones. But even though people are, uh, I mean, less less iPhones are being sold um, gradually, but. If you think about it, uh, most iPhone users, if they have an iPhone, the next time they're going to upgrade, chances are they'll be using an iPhone. So uh, I think, like I said, this is uh, a solid long-term play. Amazon e-commerce. As they continue to get into other categories like healthcare, um, and I think their their Amazon Prime Day is coming up soon. So we'll see how uh, how that'll do. But I think they're doing a really good job with uh, what they're doing with Whole Foods, trying to bring more foot traffic into the Whole Foods retail market space. Um, majority of their revenue is from online sales as well as Amazon Web Services. But um, since their acquisition of Whole Foods, they're trying to get more people, get more incentives for people to go to Whole Foods through discounts um, and other other perks for being a prime holder. Visa is solid. Um, financial, I guess, uh, financial uh, processing, car processing. Um, it also pays dividends up 1.34%. Microsoft is a good dividend play as well, up 2.38%. Google does not pay dividends, but it's up 2.56%. Class C shares, Class A shares up 2.8%. Um, I have both. Uh, class A shares allows for uh, voting rights versus Class C shares does not. Alibaba up 1.8%. This one doesn't have not dividends. Nvidia up 1.6%. This has really low dividends. United Health up 0.57%. This has decent dividends. Boeing up 1.55%. Uh, pretty good dividends. Baozun, it's like the Shopify of China, up 6.89%. This has no dividends, it's pure growth. Uh, PayPal up 3.4%. I like what PayPal's doing in terms of, uh, they're doing a lot of acquisitions to strengthen their their uh, moats or their position in the markets to be more competitive. I think it's um, in terms of domestic and international, uh, they're trying to do, I guess, uh, be stronger in, in terms of their their presence. So I think they're, they're doing a good job in terms of the growth. Activision up 2.76%. Johnson & Johnson down 1.26%. Still going to add more to this one. Good dip in play. McDonald's down 0.71%. I'm going to add more this to, to this one as well. 3M up 0.83%. Add more to this one. Berkshire Hathaway up 0.02%. Home Depot up 0.36%. AT&T up 0.03%. I'm going to add more to this one. Procter & Gamble up, or sorry, down 0.34%. I'm going to add more to this one. IGE up 11.09%. I'm just going to hold this one, not, not adding more. NetEase up 0.6%. Taiwan, Taiwanese uh, semiconductor manufacturer up 0.92%. Constellation Brands up 0.08%. Vanguard Consumer Discretionary up 0.61%. Vanguard Healthcare up 1.15%. Vanguard Industrials up 1.02%. Vanguard Consumer Staples down 0.04%. And the rest of my ETFs are all up. These are all Vanguard and Schwab as, as well as iShares ETF. Um, so that's all for my portfolio. Overall, solid play today, solid performance. 
Um, hoping for another good day of trading tomorrow. And as I mentioned, keep on the lookout for the three three banks earnings reports tomorrow. That's JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup. Uh, so that's all for this video. What are your top holdings? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.